Do we have any questions to the balcony? Uh, we can send the mic up there. Do we have any hands up there? This one up here? Okay. Uh, we'll send the mic up there for it, but let's take this next question wherever it is here. Hello. Hi. Um, Hi. Hi there. This is our second year, and we've uh, really, really continued to enjoy it. We're a family of musicians. We love the music. And um, before I ask my question about the music, I want to thank you because as a middle-aged white woman, it's doing a little more to later middle age, but um, the one thing that has really resonated with me was the diversity that you don't get in most communities. I live in Chicago, so we have quite a bit of diversity, depending on the neighborhood, but um, it's to see it and to see everybody's a person and everybody, you know, no matter what their choices are, there are people. And to see that and live it, I wish I could drag so many people here to see that and experience it so that they would have a better understanding. So thank you for that. Um, secondly, the music piece. That we just really love every single opportunity to see someone perform. And what the beauty of this cruise is the discoveries that we've made. Oh my gosh, Vance Gill, what Gilbert, what a discovery. Oh, yeah. I was, it was a magical moment for me. Vance Gilbert's been working for 30 years, but yes, we discovered him. <laughs> <laughs> and when we saw him afterwards, and I was like, God, I'm like, oh my God, where have you been all my life? But um, he said, oh, we're coming to Chicago. I mean, we've already arranged to have tickets for that show, so. It's, uh, those discoveries are just what makes this so magical. So now I'm going to ask the hard question. Could we have more of that? I would love to see live music at least, you know, once a day. Something. I'd love to see more Molly Lewis on stage. She did a discovery last year. You know, if there was a chance, even a big concert, but just someone performing, that would really be something we would love to see. So thank you for what you do, and we look forward to more of it. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. Um, Again, with the with the scheduling, it is it is a very difficult uh, balance and juggling act to try and get because there are plenty of people here who are here because they really are just huge fans of John Scalzi or Pat Rothfuss or Nora Jensen or Martha Wells or whoever, and there are other people who are only here for the gaming and the concert stuff is just sort of a bonus or or a side thing to them. Uh, so we we try very very hard to strike that balance of presenting enough of each little piece without everyone. I mean, everyone's going to feel us to a certain degree short change because the one thing uh, that there is a dearth of on a cruise ship is space. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, we do appreciate the comment. And again, that sort of thing is all very important in the survey coming back to let us know what are the elements that you really enjoy, what are the elements that aren't so important to you that helps us a lot to try and strike the balance of are we presenting enough of this aspect or this aspect of the cruise. Uh, and we've made those kinds of adjustments based on, on your reactions. So. And, and and thank you for your, for your comments about diversity. Uh, Paul did speak to the diversity that we try to achieve with performers. Um, we actually feel like, and we see it too, there's a tremendous diversity among folks here. We actually feel like we'd like to appeal to an even broader number of folks, uh, particularly people of color. So we, we, um, we are always open to ideas. <laughs>